technical difficulties have been all taken care of, I hope, for goodness sakes. I got a new glue gun. Actually, it's an old reliable glue gun, which I had in a back room there. Okay, so moving on. We've got, oh, we didn't put the beak in. I wanted to show you again why we have, we left that space here when we did the two heads together. There's a little space there. So if I add just a tiny bit of glue on the edge of this, edge of this piece of foam, not very much at all, and then I separate the two halves of the head. Without burning myself, I can stick that guy right in there and close that up and rock. Now we can talk. There we go, we have a talking parrot. And while we're working on the head, let's do the, go ahead and do the eyes. I've cut out those funky eye shapes and I put a black dot in the middle of a white piece of paper representing the eye of the bird, of course. And then that's gonna go inside here like that. So it's against the white part and then we're gonna glue that on to the side of the bird's face. So here comes side number one. Oh, I love it when the glue gun works correctly. Boom, there he is. Now he's looking very parrot-like, I hope. Got some strings of hot glue gun there. There he is. And then I'm gonna take the white, I'm gonna put the glue on the inside part that's not gonna show a few little dabs of glue, not very much, because this is just a piece of paper with a black dot on it, remember? And then we're gonna do this and hope it fits right. From the front, it'll look, yeah, that looks pretty good. That works, ah, my fingers are stuck. All right, moving on to this side. Again, not much glue at all needed, just enough to hold this guy down. Going to the other side. Boom, and there's his match up to two sides. <laughs> I can see the eye on this side is much larger than the one on that side, but who sees it? And he's looking, <laughs> he's looking down on this side, but he's looking up on this side. Okay, <laughs> it's a little bit wanky there. Let me see if I can, I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it for right now for demonstration purposes. So be careful you don't do that on your bird or it'll be looking kind of silly. All right, now here comes an interesting part. I've taken one of the shoulder caps, which are gonna go right here. That's gonna fit right on there. And I've taken them in my hand and I've kind of bent them at an angle and very carefully, you don't have to do this part unless you're feeling very, very confident. And I'm gonna do a little clip here. Ah, it's hard to do, even for me. Snip, snap. Oh. And what's that giving me? Can you see what it gives me? This little sort of feather like little indentations. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna do one more on this side because it's a little confusing and probably unless you had me right in your living room doing this and showing you, you'd understand a little bit more about what this is gonna look like. Okay, so I'm taking the one that already pre-did that too. Can you see those little textural things on the cap of the, of the wing? And then again, Using a sparing amount of glue, not a lot, I'm gonna go on the inside edge of this, avoiding my thumb and going on this side so I don't glue my thumb. Flipping it over, and this is gonna go over the top. And it's called a wing cap because it's actually going on top of the wing, like the wing is wearing a cap. There we go, right there, the wing cap. Let that glue a little while. Take the second one on the other side, do the same thing lightly with the glue, but enough to hold the foam down. And I almost got my thumb that time. Be careful. Flip this guy around, put him in place. And now he's got two oops, wing caps. Oop, I angled that one a little different. Ah. Okay, now, there we go. So we did the beak, we did the eyes and the top of this crown thing, and we did the wing caps. And now for a little more contrast, these pieces aren't in the in the packet. They, there are no stencils for these, but these are just extra things I'm adding on. So I cut two pieces of foam that were, see how they're symmetrical? Because one's gonna go on one side of the bird, one's going on the other side of the bird, and they're basically pretty close to the same shape, right? Um, they're not exact, but they're pretty close. So those are gonna go 
under the wing cap and stick out like that, giving the bird a little more three-dimensionality. Three-dimensionality, if that's a word. Okay, so we're gonna go, this time we're gonna put a little glue on top and a little glue on the bottom of the very tip of this that's going under the wing cap. Boom, like that, and then you're gonna squeeze it a little bit. There you go. There it is. Whew. This is exhausting work. Okay, now, moving on the other side, I'll do the same thing. A little glue, boom, a little glue, a little glue on both sides, you can see that. Got another one of those trailers from the, and then this goes up in there as far as you can get it. And that sticks out like so. And uh, there you go, one on each side. He's really coming along, all right? All right, okay. Now, down here on the tail, the tail can be done, right? But I always go overboard and I cut this piece. Again, no, nothing in the kit that's like this, but I made this up and it's gonna go right underneath. Remember I said the tail can go on inside or the outside. So I put mine on the inside, but on the outside, I'm gonna put this extra piece that hangs down and that adds a little bit more pizzazz to the bird. I wonder who originally coined that word, pizzazz, huh? Jazz term maybe, I don't know. Okay, so this is going here. Boom, boom. Ah, let go of me. There we go. See how that fits right there? And then these guys I'm gonna spread out because I cut them with a scissors, a pair of scissors really, really small. And I'm gonna just tack those down a little bit on the bottom with a tiny bit of glue. You don't wanna overdo it with glue because then it gets too heavy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, glue stick. And there we go. Oh, there we go. A little drop there. A little dab will do ya. And one over here. And that's good. There we go. Okay, really shaping up now. One more string hanging on there. Really shaping up. Looking really good. I'm forgetting another piece, and that is the breast piece. Again, probably the hardest piece to put in. A little tricky, so here's what you gotta do first. Hold your bird in one hand, and take this V-shaped chest piece with the point up. See how it's pointing up? And bend that in half. Ugh. Okay, got it bent in half, and that's gonna go right in here. But we're not gonna do it right now. We're just getting a feel for the size of this. One half goes on one half of the bird, one half goes on the other. Ah, again, unless I was right in the living room showing you, I'd be able to give you a better look at this, but it's gonna look something like that. So like on this guy, that's this piece. See, it's stuck up in there there. And then the clothespin is gonna get glued up into there. But sometimes we don't even glue a clothespin in there. We just leave it open and then the bird can sit on a pencil or a twig or something and you don't even need the paper clip. Keep calling it paper clip. Clothesline, clothes. Hang your clothes on the clothesline. Okay, there's that guy. Hey, he took a header. Get back here. All right, get on there. Proper, be proper. Okay, good. So, gonna add this on. Fold it in half with the point up. And with my good hand, my right hand, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on this tab. Just enough, just enough, not a lot. Again, we're just putting a little bit on each side. And then this guy's gonna go up in here. Go in there, go in there. Oh, come on, you can do it, there we go. Good enough. You have to manipulate it a bit to get it to sit in there right. Oh, I think I've got it. I think I've got it with both hands. I'm holding it tight. See, oh, there you go. You can see it. And I've got my thumbs pushing out towards the wings of the bird. And see like that. And it should be stuck about now. There we go. So he's got this breast up there high. So you can see I can perch on my finger or anything else. But to finish this guy off, I also have the clothes pin that came in with the kit. Clothes pin. For those of you who have never hung anything out to dry on a line, this is a clothespin, right? Many, many, like a mini clip. And it's gonna go up inside here if you want it to. 
like the guy on my shoulder here. <sighs> Take him off. See, there's his clip right inside. So I glued him right in there so he can be clipped onto anything. Um, so we're just gonna do this. Last thing is to run some glue along the top edge of this. Sometimes you'll get a wooden one of these in the kit, sometimes it'll be plastic. This one's plastic. Depends on what I have available. And then that goes up inside here, off to the side. I hold it a long time with my thumb and my fingers until it's stuck really well. That did it, boom. And then he can clip onto anything. My finger, ah, it's a little tight. There we go. Or perch on a branch or gather up some material and perch on your shoulder. Okay, so that's basically how you put this bird together without burning yourself with a glue gun. So be really careful again, kids. Get an adult to help you, and you'll be proud to own your own perching parrot once you get my kit. So, getting my kit, you can email me, damonsart at gmail.com. Damonsart, oh, forgot the three. Damonsart3 at gmail.com damonsart3 at gmail.com for the regular size bird which is a small one i just did it'll run you about uh 9.95 that's got the foam the patterns the clip everything you need except scissors and a hot glue gun and your your creative wisdom and then you can get a large one like the mccall one that i had on my uh that i had in the background 14.95 for that bad boy and if you've got it both of them you want to get a combo pack it's twenty dollars twenty two dollars so um i handle the shipping and the handling and stuff so you just pay the price you see on the screen damonsart3 at gmail.com and designate or just tell me which one you want and uh, how are you going to pay me hopefully uh somebody you know can venmo me the money at damon reinigle and I'll get it that way. Um, if you want to snail mail me, um, if you if you uh, send me an email and you want my regular mail, I can send you that, and then you can send me a check. I'm okay with checks. Okay, guys. So it's been fun. Uh, just a run, one quick note here about. Uh, there we go. For full effect, I got to put this back down because I'm so proud of this little. God, there we go. Arr, there we go. So what I wanted to tell you is uh, sometimes in life people will say, oh, that's not such a good idea. Or, man, that's stupid. Don't do that. Or, oh, you think you have a good idea? Eh, I have a better idea. So you always get these negative naysayers coming into your life trying to put you down. Don't listen to them. Do what you want to do. You've got to mighty powerful tool right up here that you can come up with all kinds of great ideas on your own. Yeah, sometimes they always don't work, but sometimes they do. Uh, think about all those great inventors throughout the centuries. If, if they had listened to people who were trying to tell them that, you know, uh, you can't make a light bulb, but if that's like some magical thing, you can make the light come on and off. Oh my God. Hello. What do we have? Electricity today, right people? Right? Hey, how about Orville Wright and his brother flying airplanes? Some people doubted them. So don't listen to naysayers. Be positive. Believe in yourself. And uh, always follow the golden rule. Um, I had a headmaster, Les Frost. Mr. Les Frost. And he exuded positivity. Okay, he exuded confidence and he gave that gift to all the students that he ever, ever taught. And uh, my hat's off to Les Frost for being the great leader that he was. Okay, guys, have a great day. Stay healthy. And uh, thank you for shopping. Cool art stuff for kids. Bye now. I'm going to click out of here.